welcome to Landlock Sea Fishing UK. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how I get all of this fishing tackle. Into this small fishing tackle box. However, along the way, I'm going to be pointing out a few items that I carry with me that could be very useful for you. For example, this little item here saved me from a whole fishing session. So if you want to find out what this is, please stay tuned. So I'm not going to point out everything in the tackle box. Most of it you already know. It's uh, fishing lead weight, scissors, forceps, things like that. Um, if there is anything in here that you see that you're not quite sure about, um, then obviously check out my channel because there's more than likely a video on that. For example, the rib clip holders, the finger stall, the rod rest anchor uh, to stop your rod rest from falling over, uh, things like that. Just have a look on the channel and there may be a video about that. If not, then drop me a comment and I'll, I'll try and answer it in there for you. But the, the things I am going to point out to you are things that I carry that I find very, very useful for me. And, you know, I, I have used them in the past and uh, I wouldn't be without them now. And one of the first things I'll point out to you is having a multi-tool. Um, these things are just absolutely brilliant to have with you. Uh, and as you are probably aware that on these things, you've got all sorts of screwdrivers, different types of screwdrivers, scissors. Uh, there's even a little magnifying glass on here, um, a, a corkscrew for when you want to celebrate that big fish and you might have a bottle of champagne with you, um, you know, scissors, all, all sorts of stuff on here. And this is just very, very useful and it takes up no room in your tackle box. There's not a lot of weight to it. And um, as providing you're keeping it in good condition, uh, for example, I, I regularly uh, get everything out of this and sand it, uh, um, wipe it all down and re-oil it and things. And uh, and that's why it keeps so nice. And it, like I say, it takes no room up in your tackle box at all. So a very, very useful thing to have with you. Another thing that you might find real strange, and that's a toothbrush. Um, the reason why I carry this is I fish on a lot of sandy beaches or uh, shingle beaches and things. And when you're really in and you've got your, your lead, uh, I just use this for just getting the sand out of the little grooves that hold the grippers on a grip lead or for anything like that, really. Because um, I don't want to be casting out if this is covered in sand because you're adding weight to it, which is unnecessary. So um, just by giving it a quick brush over with a tough brush like that. And as, again, these things cost pence and uh, take up no room they're very light and they can just sit in your tackle box like that so that's a couple of things okay so looking inside the uh, underside of the tackle box then uh first thing we come to is my marine radio now you don't have to have one of these but they are very cheap they're only like 20 pounds and personally i like listening to the coast guard uh sea rescue and the ships and things like that while i'm out fishing i like to just have it on you just never know um, so as I say, they're, they're quite cheap. I've got an extra long aerial on here because I like to get, you know, as much reception as I possibly can. Now, you don't need to have an aerial uh, as big as this. This is actually 47 centimeters, 47 inches long. Um, you can just put the standard type aerial on. And again, these things will bend over as long as you don't crease them up, that is. Uh, and they take up no room. There's no weight to them at all. So uh, having a VHF uh, radio, a uh, very good idea. It's got an alarm on it and flashing lights and all that sort of thing. So, um, you know, I, personally, I like to take that with me everywhere I go. Uh, next thing we look at then, this is, this is actually a spare spool for my reel. Uh, I, I've, I've had this for about 18 months now and I still haven't spooled up with line on here. Um, but it is something that I would take with me in the box, hence why I put it in there just to show that it fits in. Um, so, yeah, so moving on then to the reel itself. Uh, now, the reel, these things are, are blooming awkward uh, to store inside a tackle box, and I've come up with all sorts of ideas for it. And in the future, I'm going to be doing a video about how, I, how better to store this. At the moment, I've just put it in there because I am working on something on that at the moment, but that'll be a future video. So... If you're not subscribed to the channel and that's something that interests you, then obviously please consider subscribing. And uh, so that's that then, that's, uh, the reels in there. Uh, now these, <coughs> these, uh, 
these are wet wipes they're man size uh, body wipes um, now you could buy uh, a whole pack of um, you know like baby wipes or something like that and just take a few out and put them in a ziplock bag and just take a few with you i can't see any point in taking a whole bag full of those things with you um it's just not no need not just for a single fishing session so since i found these in these handy little uh, one-time use uh, sachets um and as i say they're man-sized things so they're really quite big they're like a little hand towel really and, and i use these a lot i think they're fantastic so really good to have some wet wipes in there um yeah and moving on next thing then this is some duct tape now everybody knows how useful duct tape can be if you put a rip in your beach bivy or something like that it's brilliant for just temporary repairs i've used this so many times but again they're an awkward thing to if i just grab another one like this one here for example that's quite big and bulky and to store and because of the shape of it as well so why not just squash it down i mean i've squashed this one right the way down look to a flat so it's so much easier to store and yet you can still peel off the tape just as if it was you know the same as it is on here and um, this has been in here you can see how dirty the bag is um, this has been in my tackle box for a long time now and it's been used so many times it's unbelievable um, i'll just keep it in one of these zip tie bags uh, just to keep it nice and you know away from the water really so uh, another brilliant thing that i keep in the tackle box um, also these are brilliant as well um, they're only very cheap you find them online um, i think if you put light with a whistle or something like that um, because it has got a whistle on the end so uh, it's got a lanyard on it and uh, so you can have it around your neck or hang it from your your bivy or whatever now what i do and it's a it's a useful tip this is when you buy these things uh like with a lot of other things as well the batteries aren't actually connected they've got like a little tab inside and um and you have to pull that tab out before it'll operate and i always do that um to save the batteries so i'll just remember that you know so that it keeps the batteries nice and fresh and um and you see with this one it's got a little torch on the end but it when this is in the dark it really does light up in fact there we go i'll just turn the lights out and you can see how, how much that glows so if you're in an emergency situation this this could be really good i think it flashes as well if i remember rightly yeah there you go so it flashes as well so you've got your whistle on there and imagine if that was around your neck and you was washed out to sea or something you've got a whistle and you've got something to hold up like that um this could be really useful and as i say that they, they, they're not a lot of money i think this one was about five pounds or something like that and again it takes up no room in your tackle box and it's very very light and um yeah i mean i wouldn't even bother changing the batteries in this once it's once the batteries have gone just buy another one it's uh you know they're just so cheap to buy uh this is a miniature flask now yeah you're not going to get a lot of coffee in this but when i'm on the beach fishing i don't want a lot of coffee i just need a bit to wet me whistle so the saying goes and um and this is perfect for me it's just a nice little mouthful of coffee in a tiny little cup and uh, it's just enough because you don't want to get caught short on the beach every five minutes especially when the holiday makers are there uh you know going up and down um so it's just enough coffee for a for a good um you know uh length session uh fishing session and um yeah again these aren't a lot of money i've got no idea how much i paid for this one i can't remember now but i bought this one purposely because of the size um you know it just fits in the tackle box nice and doesn't interfere with anything so when you do order one make sure first you measure it and check what the size is of these things but that that's something that i carry with me all of the time um another thing you notice here is these bags so if i catch a fish that i want to take for the table uh i don't just like leave it on the side uh, all day or i don't carry a cool box with me or anything like that 
But what I do is dig a hole in the sand and make sure you know it's nice and cool or whatever. But I put the fish in these. Now these are heavy duty um, zip bags, and uh, they're quite big. These ones. So I clean the fish off, uh, gut the fish, put it into one of these bags, seal it up, and then if it is a hot day, you know the sun's shining, dig a little hole in the sand, just lay it down in there, and that keeps it really cool. Saves me having to carry a cool box, unless it's an absolutely baking hot day, then that, that's a bit different. Um, but I found these to be so useful. Uh, you know, if you can get quite a good few mackerel in there, for example, if you want to catch mackerel uh, or anything. And these just fold up to this, and then I just slot them into one of these bits of channel, which I'll show you uh, a bit later on. And, uh, oh, yeah, and this is another thing that I take with me as well. Now, I'm not going to explain what this is just now, because that's coming up in another video. So, again, keep your eye out, and I'll explain what the what I use these for. So, now, uh, inside here, a uh, couple of cloths. We always need them. Uh, now, this thing, this is a bit of a cheat. I don't really keep this in my tackle box, to be honest with you, but I just wanted to show that it does fit in there. And uh, I'm not really sure if anyone's got a use for these or not. I've used this once and once only, and that was when I fished at the European Open Championships. Um, the part of the uh, rules, regulations that they uh, stipulate is that you have to take a bucket uh, so that when you catch the fish, you've, you've got something to put the fish into because um, obviously you have to wait for marshals to come and measure them and all that sort of stuff. Well, I don't like carrying buckets with me. So this is a child's paddling pool and it really is tiny it's about i think it's two feet uh diameter or something like that and it's just two wing so but it was absolutely perfect the only issue you got with these is first of all you can't use it on like rough ground or anything like that you've got to have a nice flat surface if there's some sharp rocks about and things like that then obviously it's going to get punctured so it's no good for anything like that really um but i was on sort of like a uh, a shingle beach so um it, it was okay for where i was um and there was loads of other fishermen about so it was easy just to borrow a bucket from them to fill it with water and fill fill the paddling pool up and then i'd got that then for the whole of the uh, uh the fishing session uh so it's not really that practical um but it might be useful for somebody so i just thought i'd put that in the video anyway just to show you that but that's all it is a very cheap child's paddling pool carrying a first aid box so this is inside one of these things here now in here here's my first aid box there's just things uh like plasters and swab and things but these you will need to get some of these they're absolutely brilliant now these are for cleaning a wound uh, now, as you know, when you're fishing on a beach and that, it can get really dirty. And uh, and if you cut yourself or something and you've been messing with dirty fish or, you know, your bait or anything like that, really, um, you know, you don't want to be just putting a plaster over the top of the wound. So you can buy these things quite cheap. Um, and it's a, a cleaner and uh, in, in like an earbud. So inside the tube there, is that I can't think what you call that stuff now, um, but it's an antiseptic uh, type uh, thing, and you just snap the end of, of this, and then this fluid, as you can see, drains through into the cotton bud. So if you've got a wound, you can clean your wound first of all, like that, and then these, you just throw them away, disposable. So your wound's all nice and clean, and now you can put your plaster on, which is, as I say, which you've got inside your little um first aid kit so another thing that i have in there is wrapped up some rubber gloves uh again you never know when you're going to use these things uh sometimes you can might want to put some on if you're dealing with some smelly fish or whatever uh but nowadays if you was uh, helping somebody else out and you know running over if they've had an accident or something it might be useful to put put some rubber gloves on then so that's that uh, next thing, you see these are all quite dirty, but I love these little uh, cartons. Um, I used to save them every time we had a takeaway, but now I just buy them in bulk. They're just so cheap to buy, and I've got like stacks of them up in the uh, warehouse. 
and um, and I just every now and again replace them when they get a bit cracked or worn or whatever. But I've used these for all sorts of things. And in this particular one, this is like for my seeing cabinet, if you like. So in here, I've got uh, some. I can't remember what you call these now. UV protection sunglasses for when the sun's shining. But I've also got my head torch in there. Again, if you if you store them properly uh, like that, they take up no room. So I always make sure everything's all charged up and ready to go, um, and um, and just store them in there. So if it's anything to do with seeing, uh, whether it be uh, uh, you know a late night in the dark, you've got your head torch, or whether it's in the daytime with the sun shining. I know that's where those things are. And then the next thing at the bottom here is a pair of heavy gloves. These are heavy duty uh, leather gloves. Now, I've probably only used these once uh, all the time that they've been in there. Uh, I just store them in this uh, bag to keep them dry. But <laughs> if you're clambering over some sharp rocks or, uh, or even handling, you know, if you've got like a very large thornback ray fish or something like that, but <clears throat> by having these on, I, I didn't have to worry about any of those thorns cutting my hands through. But as I say, they take up no room in my, my tackle box and they're just in there. They've always been there and it'd be sad Lord if I took them out now, uh, I'd probably regret it. So they're staying in there now. Now, this might seem a bit weird having this, but <coughs> so yeah, yeah, many of you all know that when you're fishing, uh, especially when you're just setting up for fishing, you get all the holiday makers coming along or whoever and they'll say, have you caught anything yet? And, um, you know, you haven't even cast out yet. Uh, but another common question is, you know, people that don't know, like, for example, the holiday makers, and they'll ask you, oh, what can you catch here? You know, and that is a very common question. It's, to me, that's as common as the have you caught anything yet question. And um, so I, what I do, I just reach inside here and pull this out. And this is I've collected these little pictures from the um, uh, Tide Times books. And uh, all the little pictures I've just got. And if anyone ever asks me, what, what can you catch here? I tend to just show them this and say, there's that many species that, you know, you couldn't possibly stand there and and uh, and, and tell them all about every, every species. But these are some of the fish that you could catch here. Um, you know, and, and that always amazes people about the, the amount of different species. Great for when you're on the beach. As again, it takes up no room. And the holiday makers, they tend to appreciate that when you show them something like that. And then it makes them, you know, they can see what you're talking about. You'd never be able to name all them just off the top of your head, all these type of fish. And yeah, there's probably one or two in there that you'll probably never, ever catch or never see. Well, probably more than one or two. But anyway, so <clears throat> just put that back in there. The other thing is a chopping board. So I used to have one like this. Now, this is actually quite heavy and um you know quite thick and heavy so then i went down to this which was a lot lot better obviously it was like a fraction of the the, the weight um and it wasn't a bad size either but again i thought i'm sure there's got to be something better than this because there is still a bit of weight to that and i didn't really need it to be that thick and that heavy duty and um so anyway i found these online and it's very thin and uh, flexible but obviously very light as well this is a brand new one that i haven't used yet but i bought them in a set of three i, I think it was and um, <clears throat> they don't last forever and ever but they last you a good few months good few fishing sessions but again they cost peanuts and uh, and i just found this perfect for what i need just to put sit down on the shingle do your uh, chopping up your filleting whatever you've got to do on there and it takes no room up and i just slot that down inside the tackle box there and you, you virtually forget it's there really uh, it just becomes like one of the sides of the tackle box now the last thing i'll show you i'm going to bring the camera back back in and uh, show you from there so bear with me so you may see in here this uh, those bags that i showed you before they're slotted into a bit of trunking in fact all of these things down here i mean four sets um, uh, other knives and things um, are just in a bit of trunking. If you don't know what trunking is, it's what the electricians use. Um, so basically, they 
feed the cable they, they pin this to the wall or screw it to the wall uh, and then the capping goes over the wires all feed through and then just keeps it all nice and neat but I found this stuff to be really useful for things like this and all I've done is um, put some velcro sticky back velcro on the back here put one one side on the back of this and the other side on the back of the box so these can peel out uh, there's the velcro on the back there look and um, I just find them great for storing things um, and then you can just put the velcro back in another thing as well if um, if you wanted to like for example the uh, forceps and things like that that you might use regularly while you're on the beach you can always stick a bit of velcro on the front of your tackle box and then temporarily attach that on the front saves you having to open your tackle box up all the time uh, you can just put put it on the front of the tackle box and then at the end of the session just velcro it back into to where it was job done um so that's that uh this is quite an interesting thing so although this is uh, sitting in its own little bit of trunking inside here it's hard to see because i painted it all black i don't know i just like to do that i don't know why um so with that then i, I could have had this knife which is my filleting knife i could have had this uh so it was just this holding the knife but i didn't want to do that and the reason for that is it's uh, this is very useful for sticking into the sand so if if i want to i can stick that into the sand and then still get my knife as and when and and have a holder at the side rather than just sticking the knife in the sand because i like to try and look after this knife although it don't looks a bit dirty at the moment but um i like to look after this because it is my filleting knife and um so i just like to keep it in this as i say to stick it in the sand and use it as and when but then this goes inside a bit of that trunking inside there just keeps everything nice and neat this is where the reel goes and uh, the flask and things like that um, but as i say i will elaborate on that a little bit more uh, in another video later on so right getting back to this that i showed you at the beginning of the video so you're probably wondering what is this well i'm going to show you right now Ta -da! <laughs> no, I'm going to do a bank robbery. Um, well, this is it. It's just a simple face net. Believe me, I've been on a beach before and there's been fishermen to my left, fishermen to my right, and there's been a plague of midges. And they are like Chinese torture flying around your head. So for the sake of £1.50 and putting this in your toolbox, although it looks silly now, if you were on the beach fishing and everyone's doing their break dancing movements trying to get rid of the midges, you won't feel so silly wearing this, believe me. And they're just such a simple thing. Just fits over the top of your hat like that. So there's the top of my hat. Uh, I've got the peak here so it keeps it away from my face. There's a drawstring on the back here so you can pull that tight so it clinches around your neck. You can do your coat up, uh, up, up to your neck here. And it, it just, they don't bother you. Yeah, of course they're still coming around you and things like that. But because they can't get to your face, what does it matter? It, it doesn't it doesn't affect you at all it's just a simple thing as i say they're really really cheap uh one pound 49 pence this cost me from uh, the famous online auction site uh for you americans out there or anybody else uh, uh probably two dollars or something like that and uh, they fold up to virtually nothing and you seen earlier on in the video at the beginning of the video i had mine in this little container here this is an extra large tic tac if you know the uh the sweets or the candy that's called tic tac uh with these little flip lids on um so you can actually get a larger size like this and uh, that's what i use and i just fold it up fold it up and then i wrap the string around it so the cord so that the cord just pops out the top there then whenever i need it i just pull this and it pulls the top off here and it just pulls the hair net out um hair net face net call it whatever i don't know um, but this keeps it nice uh, you know where it is in your tucker box all the time there's no weight to these and it's just a simple little gadget so although i look really stupid i will say thank you very much for watching if you did like it, anything that you've seen in the video please consider giving me a thumbs up if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down either way it all helps so thank you very much for watching and uh, i really hope this has helped somebody look forward to seeing you all again on the next video thanks again